Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in and possibly subscribing to the Pretty Plug community. In today's video, I'll be showing you sublimation versus heat transfer vinyl on hats. How I turn these into these. Now let's get into it. Okay, first I'm going to start off in Cricut Design Space and upload the SVG that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. An SVG is an already cut file, so the only thing I have to do is upload it and add it straight to the canvas. It was a really large file, so I unlocked the image and sized it to 4.5 inches in width and 3 inches in height. And here I'm just going to change the color of the image because I wanted the grill father part of it to be white and I wanted the grill to be black. So I just selected the grill and changed it to black. And I also had to change the flames to black too. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit make. And if you want a more detailed video on Cricut Design Space, click the video at the top on the left. And here I'm just laying the vinyl shiny side down. And using my brayer to lay the vinyl flat to the mat. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Cricut because my low light is flashing. So now I'm going to hit the low button and then the cut button. And now the Cricut machine is starting to cut the vinyl. Now I'm gonna load it to cut the second piece, which is the grill. And now you're going to see me cutting out the images so I can start weeding. And now I'm going to start weeding. I had to chime in because these flames gave me a run for my money and one still got away. But we're going to work with what we got. 
So now this is me just lining up the grill to see how it's going to look. So now I'm going to move on to the second image. I'm just going to go ahead and upload the um, file that I got from Creative Fabrica. As you can see, it's very large, but I'm going to downsize it to 4.5 inches in width and 3 inches in height. This is me just minimizing the screen to get the uh, image on the canvas, and then I maximized it. And I'm going to duplicate it three times just so I don't waste paper. And now I'm going to select the whole thing and flip it horizontally. Now I'm going to go ahead and select my printer and print the image out. And this is my image printing. It's sped up because my printer usually takes a little longer because of the presets that I have. The colors may look a little dull, but once it's pressed, it'll have its full color. Okay, so here are the vinyl images, and this is the little grill. So now I have the, the hat press heated up to 315 on 15 seconds. Okay. Here I'm just cutting off the excess vinyl. And now I'm just going to fold it in half to find the center point. And I usually heat the bottom of the hat press for a few seconds so the hat can get heat on the inside as well. And the lining that's on the inside of the hat, I usually pull that out so it don't interfere with my image once I lay it. Here I'm just going to adjust the hat on the hat press. And now I'm going to preheat the hat for a few seconds just to get the moisture out. I'm going to use my lint roller just to get off any lint before I press the image on. And here is some heat resistant tape that I'm going to use. It's Cricut brand. And I'm just going to cut off two pieces. And now I'm going to line the image on the hat and then tape it down. And here I'm going to use my Teflon sheet just to protect the image and the hat. And now it's time to apply the grill onto the hat. Right. 
Okay, this is the final look. It came out amazing. I actually like it a lot. And I usually don't use vinyl on the hats. But this may be a thing. It came out good. Okay, done with hat number one. Now let's move on to hat number two, which is the sublimation hat. So now I'm just going to preheat the bottom platen. And then since I'm using sublimation, I'm going to use butcher paper. And I'm going to line the bottom platen with butcher paper just to protect it from ink. And this is a five panel hat. So now I'm just going to adjust the hat on the hat press. Now here I am just cutting out the image. And now I'm going to fold it in half, but I'm just going to fold the top and the bottom part just so I don't mess up the image. And now I'm going to line it up and use my heat resistant tape to tape it down. I'm going to preheat the hat for a couple seconds. Lint roll it. So now I'm going to um, adjust the heat to 400 Fahrenheit in 60 seconds. I have no clue as to where the clip went of me laying the image on the hat. So I guess we'll skip to the countdown and the big reveal. Two hours later. I had to straight tussle with this hat to get it off the press. I even burned myself being impatient. I'm I'm not going to lie. I love seeing these hats come to life. But okay, I'm going to peel the butcher paper off the back. And reveal time. Oh my God, it is so pretty. I love this so much. Which one of these hats y'all think came out the best? I'm not even going to lie. I can't choose because both of them are bomb. So if you want to see me unbox this hat press, make sure you click on the video on the screen. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.